I am proud to welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, uh, state senator from Louisiana, who has now become the first black Republican legislator, legis legislator uh, since Reconstruction in that state when he switched political parties from Democrat to Republican last week, State Senator Albert uh, uh, Gallori. Hello, Senator. How are you, sir? Good afternoon, Steve. How are you? I am fine. I am so honored to, to have you. And I got to tell you, um, it, it took such courage to do what you do did because... I mean, you know, I've seen it a million, zillion, trillion times, and I talk about it, and it disgusts me no end um, when someone like you does what you did or when, when someone who's African-American is a conservative, successful conservative, prominent conservative, or a Hispanic, or a woman, uh, you know, they're, they're lambasted by the media I immediately and, and considered some kind of you know, freak show. So tell us all why you switched parties and made history the way you did, sir. In a word, values. Uh, the uh, Democrat Party in Louisiana particularly has just moved so far away from basic American values, just those things that, that make us tick inside uh, prayer, life, guns, big government spending. Those are the, uh, those are the issues, family, family values, uh, marriage. Those are the, the values that uh, they've moved far away from, and they've moved far away from most Louisiana voters, and certainly from me. Well, you see, and, and, and believe me, I don't believe any, I'm not like the left, I don't believe anybody's monolithic. I don't believe any group is monolithic, not Jews, and I'm a Jew, not blacks, not Hispanics. But what you've just presented, I would think would resonate with not only most blacks in this country, but, but most Hispanics, most whites, but let's focus on blacks. That's why I, I, I can't understand why the Republican Party, not, not in Louisiana, but just anywhere, can't do it nationally, can't do a better job reaching out to minority communities and saying, hey, family values, um, 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 the strong family, education, these kinds of things, marriage, sanctity, life. This is what you as a community believe in. Again, not the whole community. And this is what we believe in. The Democratic Party is so far to the left that you, you don't even know what they believe in. Why can't this, why can't the Republican Party do a better job, do you think, or, or haven't they done a better job reaching out and saying exactly what you said to, to, to minority communities all over this country? I don't think it's so much that the Republicans haven't done a good job uh, getting their message out. I think that the Democrats have done an incredibly great job in, uh, in managing a, a government plantation. Uh, they place so many people on the public dole. Uh, they institute um, policies that simply hold us back, destroy initiatives, and make my community certainly uh, beholding to, uh, to, to this government plantation and the overseers on that plantation. That, well, you know, and, and, and there are there is many uh, many people who have the same view uh, point as you do, sir. What has been your the reaction uh, in the media within your uh, constituency to uh, to your switching of parties? My constituency has been warmly uh, welcoming of my decision. Uh, on on any given Sunday morning in the churches throughout uh, my district, and I represent about 120 churches. These are the values that, that are espoused and embraced, and so they are, uh, are are pretty happy with me. The people in the Democrat establishment have been uh, a little unkind. They've <clears throat> called me everything but a child of God, and we expected that, but that's, that's not anything to uh, be concerned about. Now, did you switch? When you switched six years ago, um, uh, was it... From Republican or from Independent or what? Where did you switch from to become a Democrat? From Republican. Yeah, and why did you do that at that time? I was running in a um, very heavily Democrat area, and uh, that was the only way that I could win. So, do you think this will present a problem going forward if, if when your term is up, and I think you have um, several, a couple of years left, uh, uh, will that present a problem running for re-election? Do you think? I don't think so at all. I, I really do believe that um, most of my constituents um, support my decision. They, they didn't vote, and, and this is what they're telling me. They, they didn't vote for a party when they voted for me. They didn't vote for a Republican or a Democrat. They voted for Albert Guillory. 
They voted for a man with decades of commitment to the community, decades of uh, work in our community. So that's why they, they chose me, and I'm still that man. I, I still vote uh, the same way that I voted before, which was a big problem when I was a, <laughs> was a Democrat. Right. It caused a lot of heartburn uh, because I didn't toe the party line. We're talking uh, to um, uh, State Senator Albert uh, Guillory uh, of Louisiana here on the Steve Malzberg Show, uh, who switched parties uh, from a Democrat to Republican, becoming the first uh, uh, black in the uh, state legislature in uh, in that state since uh, Reconstruction. Um, on the on the national level, sir, um, when you look, you know, I hear it so often said by the media, especially and the pundits on the left, that uh, Ronald Reagan could not be a Republican. He couldn't fit into this party. I think even Bob Dole, unfortunately, said it. But you know, JFK could never be a Democrat in today's uh, Democratic Party. He was strong on defense. He was for lower taxes. Uh, he, he, took mil- he, was, you know, he was willing to take military action when he needed to defend our country with, the, with, with Cuba and, and, the, and the missile crisis, etc. And he was also, although not too many people know it, pro-life. So um, uh, he wouldn't fit into today's Democratic Party at all. Not at all. They have moved so far away from, from America that it, it's hard to see them. You need binoculars. Uh, the primary issue of the Louisiana Democrat Party is, uh, is gay marriage. Uh, and, and certainly, I don't know of a single person who wants to, uh, to discriminate against uh, gay people. Um, their civil rights should be protected. But to, to tell a church that Bob and Larry have to be married there is, uh, is not where Louisiana is today. All right. Well, uh, what what uh, what do you hope to um, have? You been welcomed back by the Republicans uh, who Absolutely. you left in the first place? Yeah. Good. Yes. Uh, very warm welcome back home, uh, and I, I I feel comfortable, and my party feels comfortable with me. Good. Well, sir, I, I, it's good to talk to you. I, I hope to talk to you again, and uh, if you'll come back, and uh, congratulations, and uh, we'll, and then and, you know, good luck uh, for the rest of your term, and then with the reelection. Thank you so very much. ElbertGillery.com if you want to see what kinds of values I espouse. Excellent. And that's for the folks out there that uh, I want to make sure they spell it right. It's Elbert, E-L-B-E-R-T. Gillery is G-U-I-L-L-O-R.